Hey guys, Brandon here. I just got version 9 in my uh, um, Autopilot 2.5 Model X and uh, a couple new things. So I wanted to show that uh, right away. First, you can see the icon is smaller, the car, the icon of the car, and it's also a little bit farther up, so you can see all the way around the vehicle, basically a 360-degree view. Here you can see a car coming up on the right. You saw the, um, the diagram of the car change from an SUV to a car, so now the, the software is now displaying correctly cars, SUVs, uh, semis. I don't know if it's recognizing trucks. Well, I'm mean, sure it recognizes them. Uh, pickup trucks, but it's not displaying them as such. Motorcycles, uh, bicyclists, um, so the variety of vehicles that it will display. Um, there you can see the uh, that was autopilot doing the turn. I mean, I told it to turn, but it it uh, executed. Um, sorry, not the turn, the lane change. So that works well. I'm needing to get on the freeway here shortly. Um, so, but the other thing you'll notice is that the, uh, the lane lines are much narrower, um, narrower than they are relative to the car in real life. So, um, I mean, that's fine. That means that, that the display is going to be much more specific. And, um, uh, but more importantly, that gives more real estate there to show. Oh, and it's actually showing the acute angle of these ones. I've I've never actually seen it um, show lines that were that sharply curved, so that's pretty cool. That means it's incorporating more um, of the uh, of the view. Here you can see a car coming up behind me. Here it's not quite sure what to do with this side view of that car, so I'm sure that'll get updated as we go along. This pickup is being shown as a truck. That truck, that pickup is being shown as a bigger truck. It's got a trailer on it, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get on the freeway shortly and we'll see how it does on the freeway. All right, here I am just getting onto the on-ramp. Whoops, wouldn't let me do that. There we go, let's see what it does. Very gradually increasing here. Now I need to merge. So let's see what it does. Merges me fine. And I now need to get over a lane. Slowing down car behind me is not going to uh, let me in, so I got to force myself in here. There we go. So that's going to be a challenging interchange for autopilot in the future. So definitely much better um, blindside viewing. It looks like the side cameras are not recognizing the type type of vehicle very well. Uh, it's not until it gets like... So that recognizes that that's kind of an SUV. Okay, here comes the car on my left. Um, oh, I guess it is recognizing it. Okay. So it, it kind of changes what icon it uses depending on when it realizes what it's supposed to be doing. Um, okay. There's a car coming up on my left. I'm going to show you the... Um, Updates to the uh, blind spot thing. Okay, here it comes. I'm gonna try to go over. Yeah, red line, red line. And it won't, won't go over. Let's see if it'll punch in. Yep. So it recognizes when the car is passed, speeds up. So we're good. I can't wait to test this with the um, with with the car doing it all by itself, trying to find the fastest lane, and um, you know, auto passing and and. Uh, also, getting into the right lane based on the navigation for the correct uh, freeway merging. I think that's just going to be super next level. Uh, I was just reading today about the uh, updated neural net that they that this is now based on. Elon Musk had tweeted a little while ago that um, they're laying the groundwork for full self-driving, and that's kind of why version 9 is taking a little bit longer to fully implement, and then um, at least the initial version and then they're going to be releasing more and more uh, self-driving features on version 9. I think he said version 10 would probably be full be full self-driving at some point, but anyway, so that neural net is now has a lot more data points, uh, like um, multiples more of data points. It's using all eight cameras, uh, so they're probably going to need to be um, 
and they get they get tons and tons of miles every day. So the, the new system is basically going to have to teach itself with its upgrade. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that works with uh, like I have the 2.5 hardware um, and uh, just I don't know yeah just seeing how this develops itself and the rate of um, the rate of improvement now that it's it's kind of got the base full self-driving. Um, neural net in place. I think it'll be really cool. And that's really different than what we were at with uh, Autopilot 1 or even early Autopilot 2 where it was, uh, I think Autopilot 2. Anyway, when they were back on the mobile eye chips, um, that was a limiting factor in some way. So that's not there and uh, it seems like we finally caught up. See what I can do in autopilot here. This is the exit ramp. I probably should have tried to take it, but I think that's going to be a future. Um, the exit and the on ramps really is going to be a future uh, thing. I mean, this can this can still stay within the lines and slow itself down, but it's not um, it's not claiming to be able to do this regularly. But it is doing very well. Oh, it's asking me to take over here. Oh, that was an abrupt stop. So anyway, I really like the new display. Um, I think it's great having more stuff there. And blind spot warning was a severe deficiency on uh, Tesla vehicles to date. And so having the um, having the lane turn red, uh, the broken lane line turn red when it's indicating that there's something in your way, is really great. I w I've noticed that it doesn't do it very quickly. Um, so it, you know, there's like a one second delay between when you put the blinker on and, and it actually says, you know, hey, there's a vehicle in your way. So I wish it was constantly evaluating that in real time and it could tell you instantly, you know, hey, there's something in here or there's something in your way. I think there's a Model X just across the street. I'm not going that way though. Um, yeah, one other small highlight just while I'm here, you can see the maps. They've taken out the green traffic indicators, which actually makes sense. Like, you don't actually have, you don't actually need to have a green indicator, meaning that the traffic is smooth. Um, now all it is is telling you if traffic is bad. So you have, and they're also nicely thin lines, so it's not like blocking like your road names and stuff like that. <clears throat> so you've got. There might be yellow lines too, I'm not sure, but these are orange, I got some red. Um, but it really cleans it up, not having everything be a color. It's just like, if you see a road and it's and it's otherwise gray, it means it's going at normal speed. And if it's not going at normal speed, yeah, there's the white Model X. And if it's not going at uh, normal speed, then it, it'll show a different color. So, that's it. Um, sorry, the camera's a little kooky. Let's see if I can put it back up driving around in uh, downtown Grand Rapids right now all right that's it for now I'll see you guys in the next video uh, as soon as I as soon as we get the um, nav to na or drive on nav feature on version 9 cannot wait to test that out so I'll definitely be doing videos on that that'll be super fun anyway see you guys in the next video